See all that? It's very cold. But I'm still going to talk to you guys about holding good eye contact. Good eye contact is so important. It's important because the eyes are the heart. The eyes are the windows into who you are. The eyes show you the condition of someone. What's so beautiful about the eyes is that the eyes produce emotion when it's fully given in the moment. It can produce some sort of emotion, which is nothingness and receiving. Uh, if it's intensely hurt, sadness, frustration, whatever it may be, your eyes produce emotion. Your eyes have an amazing ability to show those around you everything that's going on inside of you. And the same thing happens with a woman. A woman being more expressive many times than men shows so much to a man through her eyes. This is why women love when looking into men's eyes because a man's eyes shows her everything that she needs to know. Because she's been looking in eyes her whole life to dictate whether or not a person is into her. She's been looking in eyes her whole life to dictate whether or not you know a man is truthful in what he's saying. She's been looking in the eyes to dictate whether he's sad or whether someone is sad, her friend. She's more accustomed a lot of times to the shift of emotional leakages than you are. She, she's very, very interested in what's going on with the man based on his eyes most of the time and the way he moves. Bodily expression is the best way for a woman to know what a man is like. So, be that same way when it comes to interacting with women be somebody that's really really in tune with okay what is her eyes telling me when you're there looking at a woman's eyes allow yourself to just completely be there you'll start to see the conditions of her a woman that can't keep good eye contact a lot of times she's hiding something a woman that's a little bit freaked out a lot of times tension is something that she's a bit afraid of or people. And one of the things that I want you to get used to is not just practice eye contact when it comes to women. That is the thing that many guys, they start to do is that they start to just only practice eye contact when it's, when it's for seduction. But what I would say is practice life. Don't practice seduction. Don't Stop going around trying to just practice seduction all the time and practice life. Having good eye contact is a good thing. Being able to look in the eyes of others and notice things is so amazing because it gives you a lot of insight into the person. Looking into somebody's eyes, it, may, it tells you so many different things about them that their mouth cannot tell you. A person can say, I love you, but their eyes can say it so much stronger. A man can say to a woman that you look sexy, but his eyes can say it so much better. Be accustomed to being a man that's able to be in front of people and just notice. Don't try to always read them, but just notice. Notice what's happening because you'll start to get some windows into who they are. When you notice people's eyes being shifty, notice what's going on in the moment. When you ask a woman a question, see when she averts or when she's really engaged. You'll see through her eye contact. and hold it with purpose. Hold eye contact with purpose. As you're in front of women, don't just hold it just to hold it. When you're in front of people, don't just hold it just to hold it. If you're doing an exercise, fine, because I'll, give you, I'll be giving you an exercise later so you can become better with eye contact, but hold it with purpose or don't hold it. Be in front of someone and talk to them and hold eye contact. Be engaged in what you're saying. Be engaged when they're, when they're talking to you. But don't just stay there and just look. And just like, all right, I'm not gonna look away because I'm not gonna be one to break frame. Um, I have the stronger frame, so I'm just gonna look at you. No. If you're playing frame games with people, then you're just trying to control them. But just really look, look somebody in the eyes and hold it with purpose. And there's two main purposes that I see that eye contact is the best used for. And the first one is if you're listening intently. So if you're in front of somebody and they're speaking to you, you allow yourself to just be there and listen intently and just take in what they say by allowing yourself to be connected to their eyes. 
you'll be able to feel what they're saying better by being connected to their eyes. If we had to bring this to women, when you're in front of a woman and she's speaking to you, allow yourself to just hold eye contact with her. Hold it. Be intently there with her, listening. Listening intently with the intention to receive what she's saying. Because it's through the receiving where you start to gather information about the woman, where you start to gather insights about who she is. But you must be intently listening. You can't just be there hearing the thing and ready to speak. Because if you're hearing the thing and ready to speak, then you're not really listening. But for you to really listen, then you must fully be in the place of listening when someone is talking to you. When a woman is speaking to you, be fully in the place of listening. Don't worry about what you're going to say next. That's the, that's the spontaneousness of conversation. And the other way is expressing something intently. Get used to this. You look amazing. And just hold it. Don't you look amazing. Or you look amazing. And you allow yourself to just not really feel it. <clears throat> Really allow yourself to be expressed intently when you're saying something like that. Or if you're in conversation, you're like, so tell me, what do you like to do? Your eye contact will mean so much more to her when you say that than just you saying, so what do you like to do? And it's not really fully expressed intently and it's all aligned in one motion. It's, all, it's not all going, when it's all going in one direction, she'll really feel the intensity of what you have to express. So allow your eyes to be another indicator that yes, I'm fully in this moment with you and I'm expressing something intently to you because I mean what I say. Mean what you say and express it while holding eye contact. This is one of the best ways for you to learn how to have an impact on a woman or have an impact on others. It's to express something in a direction and allow yourself to be fully with it in that direction. It means so much, man. I love it so much because once you start doing this, you'll start to see very different things happen. I remember I used to express things and I didn't really have the intent behind it where I'm expressing it in this direction. I would just kind of express things and kind of it kind of just fill the air. <laughs> but it didn't really go in one direction with intensity that uh, whether it be high intensity or low intensity, it never went in one direction. So express yourself in a direction and I started expressing myself in a direction which means that when I was talking to people you know, even when I'm talking to them now if I have to tell them something I directly express it toward them which means that I'm looking at them right in the eyes and I'm not saying okay well um, I think that you know when you said that that was a little bit off man I'm saying it to a student man when you said that that was a little bit off so he's gonna know that I mean what I say when I'm in front of women I'm like wow that is stronger than, hey, uh, you look sexy. And you're not, not really holding it. Hold the intensity of what you have to say. Express it. And once you do that, people start to feel you. They start to feel what you say. Women start to feel you. They start to feel your eyes. Your eyes mean so much more than what you say. I remember I was talking to a woman, and uh, as I'm talking to her, I'm just looking at her like this. This was like, uh, what's this, last week? I was talking to her and I'm looking at her like this. And I'm just allowing her to just speak. And she just goes, don't look at me like that. <laughs> it was funny. And then she goes, no, I'm not. It's not that's not, that's not gonna happen. And, and I was, I'm just looking at her, I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, whatever's going on there, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> and she's talking about my eyes. I don't have to say anything. I don't have to say anything and she knows what I mean. I didn't mean sex in a moment, but she did know that I found her attractive. She didn't know that, well I didn't find her so attractive, but she was really, she was cute. But she did know through my eye contact that I'm not afraid to sit in this. I'm just here talking to you. And you'll start to notice that women do many things to your eye contact. When you express it with a direction like that, they start to feel it, they go, oh, thank you, and they start to open up in a way because what you're doing when you're expressing it like that in a direction, you're actually cutting through to her. You're cutting through to what she loves, which is to be appreciated. You're cutting right through that. You're not going kind of in, in, um, in a loop there, you're going straight there. And as you go straight to that part of her that loves to be appreciated, she feels it like a hit of fucking morphine. She fucking, ugh. It just feels, she feels it right away. That's the beauty of going in direction when you're expressing something and holding eye contact with it.
Love it, man. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, man. Love it, love it, love it. All right? Now, an exercise that you guys can start to do that's gonna help you with this is, um, I would say for today or tonight, whenever you're going out, it depends on what part of the world you're in. Uh, what I want you to do is that I want you to, as an exercise, do this for the next few days and see if things don't change. When you walk up to a woman, because we're talking about women here now, when you're walking up to a woman, what I want you to do is, I want you to express whatever you're gonna express to her while holding direct and unmoving eye contact. All right, this is gonna be very, very uh, sexy to her because she's gonna feel that you mean what you say. So, for example, it would be, okay, I'm walking up to the woman, I see her. <clears throat> I'm being obvious, I walk up to her and I say, excuse me. And she goes, yeah? And maybe you like, maybe you like how she looks in her, her jacket. Her jacket makes her look really, really cute. Wait, maybe it's that, they, maybe that's your compliment. You can go, do you know that that jacket you have on makes you look so cute? And just holding it like that and meaning what you say, that is so fucking good to her because she knows that, okay, this guy is really telling me the truth. He's not just saying it as a thing. He's really telling me. Or you think that, my gosh, she's a sexy woman today. You go up to her, you go, uh, hello. You are so sexy today. I'm Anthony. You say your name, of course, but you allow yourself to just hold it. And in the holding of it, she can feel it fully. She, bodily, she'll feel it. She'll feel as if she's getting hit with a hit of something. And that is appreciation. One of the most beautiful things that a woman adores is appreciation of who she is, how she looks. This is one of the most beautiful things she's appreciated. So once you hit it and you allow yourself to be synced in with it and you mean what you say with your eyes, it's very different. That's one way, of course, but the other way that I want you to try is that as you're going along this week and you want to uh, speak to people and you're speaking to women, whatever it may be, I really want you to um, hold eye contact for three seconds longer than you're, you're comfortable with. And what this will start to do is that it'll start to uh, give you certain feelings in your body and the person that you're talking to. And that's what you want. You want to learn why eye contact means a lot by just practicing it. Start practicing eye contact. Start giving yourself little missions with eye contact. You know what? I'm going to walk up to a girl today and I'm going to, I'm going to hold eye contact longer than I would speak. And see what happens with that. For the, for the, for the sake of my exercise, go up to uh, the women that you speak to, whether it be tonight or during a day today. I want you to go up to them and I want you to just hold eye contact for three seconds longer than you would. Three seconds longer. Three seconds longer than you would. See what happens. See what happens in your body. See what, it, what happens to them. See how they jitter around or do something or they fill the space. Let's notice what happens. Eye contact makes so many different things happen and I want you to get used to it. This is your boy Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyle, still in Chicago. Uh, subscribe below to Essence of Solo. And I'm gonna get out of the cold now, so I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.